What's going on everybody? Jemin here, San Diego Comic-Con 2023. We had to get the key issues, so what better place to start than Metropolis Comics? Hey man, thanks so much for coming down. We are so excited to be here at San Diego Comic-Con and we brought the gold, the silver, the bronze, all these great keys. We've got Detective 27, Batman number one, Superman number one, Amazing Fantasy 15, Giant Size X-Men number one, Hulk 181, I got like seven copies. I got Spidey 129, we got it all. And we're so excited to be here meeting all of our fans and customers from around the world, it's awesome. All right, guys, we are on the outside of the Metropolis booth, the Comic Connect display, and they've got some crazy books in here. Let's start at the top with some original art. We've got some incredible Hulk, Dale Keown, and we have a nice piece over here, the Druna, some Batman and Supergirl, Silver Surfer, interior page with Mephisto, from Judgment Day, issue zero, 1988. We got a Spider-Man splash page here. And another amazing Spider-Man from issue 335. Love that big Spidey mask. But here goes the keys. And what are we starting with? No big deal, just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number one, CGC 9.8, white pager. Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, written on the interior cover in pen. Beautiful book. And man, Golden Age, so hot right now. Chamber of Chills, Pep Comics, Mass Comics one. We got a Superman number one. A .5 Paquito 251 from 1938. Wow. Fun comics, all-star comics. First appearance of Wonder Woman. Going down, we got some more slabs here. Tales to Astonish. We have uh, foreign editions of X-Men one. Tales of Terror, The Black Knight, Journey into Mystery 75, but we have the first appearance of Iron Man in an 8.0, Cap 74, got a classic Red Skull cover here, all select comics issue number one, we got Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos in a 9.0, we got Fantastic Four 48, CGC 9.8, signed by Stan Lee, that's crazy. Luke Cage in a 9.8. Marvel Family Comics in a 7.0. You got the first appearance of Black Adam. The Golden Age version, the real, true first appearance. And then some of my favorites. We got AF-15 in a 5.5, ASM-1 in a 7.0, Captain America 37 in a 6.5, and Tales to Astonish 23, first appearance of Ant-Man. Swing it around and see what else they got. All right, let's take a look on the inside here. We have some DC keys. No big deal. All-Star Comics 33 and a 9.6. Solomon Grundy cover. Batman 47. Guess the first detailed origin of Batman. Got Batman 19. Detective 29. Some Archie goodness. Punch Comics. Brenda Starr. Got a pedigree here. Super Mystery Comics. Issue number four. Amazing Adventure, Silver Streak, Captain Adam. First appearance of Batman, so it's a .5, but this is a Bob Kane DC file copy. CBCS, you can see where it was uh, in the binder with the holes on the spine. And if you want something a little bit more cleaned up, they've got a restore 9.0 for you. Beautiful cover. And then you gotta have Batman number one with it in a 4.5 and a 1.8. Very cool. First appearance of the Joker and Catwoman. Got some action comics goodness here. Issue 13, issue 10, a conserved 1.8. We got some Superman 1s, a 1.0 and a 1.8. Origin of Superman. Mystery Men comics, Daredevil comics, 11, Golden Age stuff. And more Golden Age on the bottom here. I'm telling you, the golden age with a big presence here at Metropolis Comics. Showcase 4, first Silver Age appearance of Barry Allen the Flash. First appearance of Ra's al Ghul in a 9.8. You got the Aquaman prototype issue with Showcase 30 and a 9.2. And the first Bronze Age book, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, issue 76 in a 9.4. All right, let's see what's going on on the inside. More original artwork. 
This is when you step up your game to the next level. Once you bought all the keys that they have multiple copies of, you start getting into things that there are only one of ones. That's the whole lore of the uh, original art. It is a piece of history. Just like the Golden Age Captain America comics too, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of the key issues and the history behind all this. The Marvel mystery comic stuff. High grade. Speaking of high grade, Amazing Fantasy 15 and an 8.0. The first appearance of Spider-Man. His first series in a 7.0. X-Men 1 in a 9.0. And of course, the first appearance of Frank Castle in a 9.4. Another first appearance of Iron Man in a 4.5. Wow, 8.5 Daredevil 1 is crazy. First Ant-Man again, another Avengers 1, but an 8.0. 9.8 Giant Size X-Men 1 and Hulk 181. That's crazy. And Captain America 100 in a 9.8. And on this wall, we have the same great keys, but just not super high grade. Some raw books on top here. AF-15, I can see right away. More Golden Age. Got the Iron Man 1 up there. But there's some great slabs as well. First appearance of Bizarro in a 7.0. The AF-15 in a more affordable 3.5, but still will cost you a pretty penny. You got some X-Men keys. You got Blade again for his Hawkeye. The Scrolls in a 9.0. There was ASM-1 and a 6-0, still respectable grades. 5-0 for the X-Men 1, 9-4 for the first Ghost Rider. Some modern stuff here too, man. The Greg Land variant for Spider-Gwen. The first appearance of Miles Morales, 9.8, signed by Mark Bagley and Bendis. Gambit in a 9-8, Hulk 181 in a 9-6, in case the 9.8 was a little bit out of budget. Some more great DC keys, Neil Adams, Poison Ivy. All right, Vin, you mentioned a lot of keys, Silver Age, Golden Age, but what is this? So we're very well known for selling vintage comic books and original comic art, video games, VHS, pulps, you name it, collectibles-wise. But every once in a while, we get something very historical and significant. And we got these amazing letters from Jerry Siegel and to Jerry Siegel. Uh, Jerry Siegel, the co-creator of Superman, um, you know, wasn't very happy about the way DC Comics treated him. You know, one of the greatest creators of a superhero ever in the history of comics. And this is a letter where he um, basically excoriates the publisher of DC Comics, Harry Donenfeld, and at the very end of it, he talks about how he feels he's been mistreated by DC. And the very end of it, he says, as long as I live and afterwards, I shall haunt you and yours before God I put a curse. That's and great. You can't make this stuff up. This is, you know, very serious stuff. This is a, a dignified man who felt like he was taken advantage of. Mm. And also, you know, you have the other side of the story. DC Comic Books. They signed an agreement with him. They paid him for what they bought. Who knew Superman was going to blow up? So you have two sides of the coin there. And, you know, it's left to people to judge how they feel about it. But these are historically significant letters that we're going to be auctioning off in the Comic Connect auction, event auction, that's starting July 31st and ending the week of August 21st through 25th. I've got one more to share with you that is pretty darn cool. Let's take a look at it. So this is a letter that was sent to, to the publishers of, D, of Superman. It says, I don't think it would be amiss to pass the tip along to Siegel and Schuster to develop some kind of Achilles heel for Superman. In mm. other words, this is years before Kryptonite, Kryptonite was invented. Right. So Superman was kind of indestructible up until that point. Yeah. And here's a suggestion. Who knows? Maybe this is the letter that spurred the idea on to say, hey, he needs some type of Achilles heel for mm -hmm. Superman. He needs some type of Kryptonite. They knew he was OP back then. <laughs> right on. <laughs> cool stuff, Ben. Thanks for sharing. Right. Thank you. Big thanks to that Spider-Man booth for sponsoring this video. They have a monthly subscription box which gives you five comics, $100 retail value for just $50. In addition to that, you'll get a variant that's exclusive to this box. For August, we have White Widow issue number seven with a cover by Sabine Rich. Check out that SpidermanBooth.com and subscribe to that mystery box today. We are at Greg Reese's Rare Comics with Austin Reese. If you recall, I had filmed this booth years ago when I first started the channel. So I figured we'd do an update and take a look at the wall. What's up, Austin? What's going on, guys? How's the convention going? Everything's going well, man. We're happy to be back in San Diego for another year. Looking forward to the rest of the shows this year. Let's see what you got on the wall over here. So yeah. right away, we have an Iron Man first appearance. Uh, we have Tales of Suspense 39 and a 7.0. Then we go right into some Golden Age, man. Action Comics, 
all winners, the Human Torch, you got Superman 8, Jackpot Comics, Wonder Comics, and it goes on and on. You got some Batman, Golden Age stuff. Love all those early Joker appearances. The Totem Pole Joker, always a classic. You have Batman and Detective Comics 35, getting this guy in a headlock. And we got the first appearance of Blade over here in a 9.0. More Tales of Suspense. First appearance of Ghost Rider in a 7.5 uh, and an 8.0. Into some Silver Age stuff. First appearance of Doctor Strange. Silver Surfer, one and four. Iconic covers there. Daredevil one, finally getting the respect it deserves, right? And a 3-0 and a 7.5 signature series by Stan Lee. First appearance, or actually second appearance of Electro in Daredevil two. You gotta have some Hulk 181s, right? And an 8-0 and an 8-5. But you know, not the first appearance. For that, you have to go to 180, which is the great debate, obviously. Got some early hoax, a 1.8 sign. We got a number two and number three here. Some giant sized X Men goodness, 70 and 80. Gotta love those X Men keys. And a 2.5 too with X Men 1. Then some ASM. So ASM 1 and a 4.5, ASM 2 and multiple grades. Issue 4 for some Sandman goodness. Got a nice little run of ASM going on right here. All these first appearance of the Sinister Six. Got the Green Goblin. Craven. You've got the first appearance of Gwen Stacy and Harry Osborn. Got that first appearance of Kingpin here. John Romita cover. First Morbius and Punisher. Speaking of the Sinister Six, next to the first Black Cat, we got the annual one in a 7.5. Got some Werewolf by Night goodness with the first appearance of Moon Knight. First appearance of Black Widow, Tales of Suspense. You got Thanos, Loki, all the Avengers keys. See, they have the type of books that I'm into. I like Marvel Silver Age books. That's always been my go-to. So you got Avengers number one. Then onto the FF. Some of my favorite Silver Age keys. The him first appearances. The Black Panther. You gotta have 48 and 49. Which 49 has been getting so much more love lately. When I was collecting these back in like 2014, that was like such an affordable book. But it's always, it was always the better cover to me. Oh, I don't even want to talk about FF4. Let's keep it moving. You got the fantastic car. I always loved FF3. And how fitting, you gotta have the first appearance of the scrolls. You got Secret Invasion going down. They first appeared in Fantastic Four issue two. And if you don't like slab books, if you really want your keys to breathe, don't worry. They got a whole section of raw keys, the same great type of books that you're seeing. Slab, Silver Age stuff. This is an underrated book right here. This Avengers Spider-Man, early Spider-Man cover. Love to see these in raw form as well. All right, one more wall here. So early Golden Age Marvel, you have the Captain America books, some more Golden Age. You see another Green Lantern 76, some Green Lantern keys, shout out Fire Guy Ryan. Classic Neil Adams, goodness, first Scarecrow, Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze. Iron Man number one, very popular book right now. Some more Tales to Astonish, first Vision in the Silver Age. Got New Mutants 98, always popular, especially now. Classic X-Men 9.8 for the uh, Days of Future Past. Some Spider-Man keys. We just talked about this during the Hot 10. Shout out to Comic Tom. Amazing Spider-Man 34, 31, and some more raw ASM keys. And some other keys as well, a little BA-12 action. Some of my favorites here, Amazing Spider-Man 238. Yo, we're here with Ares from Variant Comics. We're shopping for key Stop. issues, man. What you looking for? Some Batman stuff, maybe uh, Batman Adventures 12 first Harley. Batman Adventures 12, let's see, do we got that over here? We do got one right there. We're over at Silver Age Comics. 
Uh, sir, can you help us find any Batman Adventures 12s? Yeah, come on over here. What do we got? Right there. And a 9.8 for the low, low price of 28.50. Eris, there's your book. You ready? I'm Man. gonna give you an Eris price. That is, that is a hot book. $2,400, Eris price. Dang. While Eris contemplates that, what else? What else do we got up here? We got some Batman Adventures Annual One. I love the DC vs Marvel Comics stuff. You got some Spawn. Are those the uh, the Spawn that had the lower print runs? Yeah, this is the first appearance of Mandarin Spawn. Uh, this is, I believe, the first She Spawn. Okay. Yeah. A little Secret Invasion. I can see why you put that out there. Oh, love the Venom 29 variants, uh, 2099 variants. Yeah. For Spidey 2099. Oh, look what I found. I'm also a big Spidey fan. First Ultimate Spider-Man. Classic Bendis goodness. That, that's a pretty copy. So this is called Silver Age Comics. That's more of the modern stuff. Let's take a look at what else we got here. A ton of raw keys. Here we have Slab Gold. Are these the Golden Age Gurus books? Yes, sir. You got it. He's got that gold. Got some silver, too, towards the bottom. Yeah, I got it. First Silver Age, Captain America. And a 9.0, oh, jeez. What else do you got over here? Let's take a look. So we got a lot of raw books over here too. Yeah, we got Aquaman 1, Adam number 1, First Silver Age Adam Showcase 34. Now are these all your books as well? No, these are Silver Age right here. Look at that classic hanging cover, EC Comics, Crime Suspense Stories 20. So we have we have the proprietor of Silver Age Comics here as well. Hey, what's up? What's guys? going on, Gus? How you doing? All right. Great books as usual. Let's see what else. So the raw books. We have a little ASM 300 action. Very nice. Some Silver Age Spidey books. Gus always got the great books. I, I think I ran into him at Baltimore Comic Con. Maybe it was. Maybe Tom bought some stuff off of Yeah, we bought a bunch of books. We were doing crazy giveaways. And then let's go down to the slabs over here. We're get old again too, real soon. Some nice tick action in the 9.8. Oh, the foil Batman 423, signed by Todd McFarlane. Who, if you don't know, we're kind of like best friends now, but. What else have we got here? Some uh, Justice League, X-Men 1 and a 4-0. Avengers 1 and a 4-0. Second appearance of Robin. Wow. First appearance of Archie, Pep Comics number 22. Hey. Everyone's favorite butler, first appearance of Alfred, Batman 16. Great stuff at Silver Age Comics, San Diego Comic Con. I always love the setup at Shortbox. They have such a clean display, a lot of consignment books here. They do have a Bird City exclusive error print and a bunch of keys, man. We're talking about Conan 1, we've got Shazam 28, first what, Silver Age appearance, second appearance of Black Adam. Little Cap 100, Frankenstein 1, we've got some first appearance of Shang-Chi, Bone 1, and a 9.0, with the first appearance of uh, Constantine in a 9.8, Hulk 340 in a 9.8, first Blade, what is that, first Alpha Flight, got ASM 300, some Transformers action, old school TMNT, fourth printing on issue 1, another first Black Cat going on here, we got some... Lethal Protector, got some Kazar action. Seeing a lot of Silver Age Marvel keys here. Some Bronze Age goodness with ASM 121, 122. Got some Strange Tales. First appearance of Doctor Strange. 6.5 on the Tales of Suspense 39. We're seeing more Hulk 181s, X Men 1s, giant size X Men 1s. On to the old school stuff. 1959, Superman 133. Jungle Comics, Planet Comics, Blue Bolt. The Golden Age is in the convention. The first Poison Ivy, the first Sinestro, the first Sabretooth. Some X-Men, more Spidey stuff. Hot Book Alert, first appearance of the Rhino. First appearance of Black Panther. Shorebox. Well, one of the cleanest displays at San Diego Comic-Con. 
I had to come over here and check out Blue Chip Comics. We got the owner here, Nico. What's going on? Hey, what's happening? The Mentius in the game. Thank you. And we got a familiar face as well, Javon. What's going on, man? Shout out to the, all the Geminites out there. That's right. That's we're, right. We're taking a look at the key issues. Do you have any key issues in your booth, Nico? I mean, we got a couple of cheap keys. The Affordable the, keys, I mean, the golden age, little things. You know, I mean, like they're not the Superman top grades. One. Batman one and a 1.8, Superman one and a 2.0, Daredevil one and a 9.4. Wow, they got some big boy books at Blue Chip Comics, living up to the name. Exceptional white page. Hulk one and an 8.5 with exceptional white. I'm pages. not sure what that means, but I mean, it's, 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 that means those pages <laughs> are minty fresh. Minty That's what it means. fresh, I love it third highest graded at census. Well, let's not forget the fact that this first appearance of the Punisher is a 9.8. Restored 9.0 on Amazing Fantasy. Beautiful book. What else do we got over here? A little bit Miles Morales action. Ultimate Fallout 4. Jejevic. Not only do we have the unrestored blue label, we got the yellow label with sketches, remarks, signatures, all kind of stuff. Jeez. First appearance of Miles. Silver Age Spider-Man keys. You can't go wrong with that. Then you got, of course, moving up to the first appearance of the black suit. Hobby. Secret Wars 8, 9, 8. Hey, and which, what's your pick? CBC, CBCS. 9.8 of the 252. 9.8 of the 194. Yeah, we're traders at this group, guys. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but we allow people to trade their old grails up to these major grails. So you don't have to come in with 350 cash for Superman number one. Say you have other books that you like. We'll pay you 90%, 80% of uh, market value. So we'll pay strong towards that grail. Bump ours by 10%. You walk away with something you may have thought you were priced out of. But uh, we love hooking people up. We're in this thing for the long-term relationship. And anybody that's, uh, you know, references, you know, obviously the mintiest out there, <laughs> you know I got you. Listen, with this caliber of books, you guys got to be doing something right. Multiple Hulk 181s. Amazing stuff here at Blue Chip Comics. Thanks for showing me around. You got it, man. It's always a pleasure, bro. All right, me and Air is hitting the convention on Sunday, the last day. We had to get Red Hood Comics in here. Hey, Rob, you look kind of different, man. What's going on? Hey, guys. This is Griffin Rich. I'm here helping out at uh, Red Hood Comics. Mm -hmm. San Diego Comic-Con is off to a wonderful start. Or I guess it's kind of the end now, but it's been a great show so far. I'm seeing a lot of keys on the wall. We got Golden Age, Silver Age, Modern. What are collectors looking for during San Diego Comic-Con 2023? Anything from $20 to $200 is moving super fast. The wall books, you know, anything that's five figures and above is moving pretty slowly. The market correction has hit everybody very hard and people are hesitant to buy back in. So high end stuff, a little slow, but the more affordable keys are moving. Yes, sir. Any specific keys that you notice people are looking for? Uh, Hulk 181, as always, mm -hmm. giant size X-Men number one. Um, we've had a lot of attention on the first Mr. Freeze. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of speculation with what villain Matt Reeves is gonna use in the next Batman film, mm -hmm. so. But overall, there's a lot of people flowing from Hall H since all of the film uh, kind of press tours have slowed down due to the strike. Right. So everybody's flowed back in here and they're buying cheap comics just for fun. Sounds good, man. Yo, thank you so much for your time. Guys, check out Red Hood thank Comics. You. you know, we had to check out the Torpedo Comics booth. We got Comic Tom over there with Aris doing two live streams with John. Let's see what they got here in the display cases, man. Some ASM 300 signed by David Michelini and Todd McFarlane. More Punisher. This is a crazy book right now. First appearance of Hobie Brown, the Prowler, ASM 78. Got some more ASM 300 action. Getting into some Golden Age Batman. Got some Conan the Barbarians. Let's see what else we got. Oh, look at this. Some whatnot love here. Tyler Kirk and Battle Damage, Adam Eve, signed by Tyler. <laughs> and just chilling next to a first appearance of Thor in a 7 0, signed by Stan Lee. You got the remarked Michael Zek, John Beatty, Sig, Secret Wars 8, Incredible Hulk. Got an affordable FF 48. What are these? Fantastic Four number one. Wow, Jack Kirby, Sig, and George Klein. Oh, no, that's the cover art. It's signed by just Jack Kirby. First page, old school Sigs. And Stanley. And Stan. Oh, there goes Jack. Uh, yeah, right there. Then we got 
Fantastic Four, first Silver Age No More, kicking rhymes for you guys. Got multiple SIGs on the Secret Wars 12, Monsters 1, Mystic Tales, some first appearance of Deadpool. We got some more books over there, but as you can see, very busy booth, raw books on the wall. So for some people, Comic-Con ends early. For me, it ends today. I'm leaving. But for those of you who stuck around all the way till the end, I want to thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for making it amazing. It's all of us together that have built this up to be such a fantastic show. Hope to see you next year.